think about myself, the way I work, uh, the things I've done since, the decisions that I've made since, uh, the work that I do now eight years on um, is absolutely kind of framed by that sort of experience um, and I suppose finding in myself that kind of commitment to um, things bigger than me, you know, big, big, big concerns in, in, in society. But it got me to think hard about some of the things that I'd taken for granted and some of the issues that I thought I really had a handle on, I was only scratching the surface. I think I do my job better because of common purpose and because of the links I made there. I think my achievements are there based on my career but the colour and quality of the relationships I can use was certainly helped by the contacts I made in Common Purpose. I think what's important is a very, the basic fundamental principle of bringing people together so they understand each other's roles and, and each other's perspectives. And I think as long as that principle is kept alive but applied differently to different circumstances and different times, different places, there's an awful lot still to be gained. I think whether it's leadership, um, locally, regionally, nationally, globally. Um, I think Common Purpose, to me, is about that leading beyond your authority, you know, how do, how do you come together with other leaders and make things happen, even if it's outside of your day-to-day, -day, you know, job or day-to-day -day responsibilities. Um, so for me, I think Common Purpose is the foundation for, for that kind of cornerstone of leadership, really, and how you come together and make things happen. I think one of the things for me has been the, the personal development that came through it and, and a broadening of interest. I mean, the, you know, the fascinating thing was mixing with a group of people that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise in many cases and also got into places that I would not have seen. And you know, I still regularly tell stories, anecdotes that are, you know, not, not, not just anecdotes for the sake of telling a funny story, but anecdotes because I've learned something about myself, I've learned something about this region, I've learned something about other people through doing that. And that's part of my kind of repertoire of management skills that I've developed through Common Purpose. I find it absolutely fascinating to begin to get to know much more about how the public sector and indeed much more particularly the private sector work because I knew nothing about the private sector and I met the most amazing group of people um, who changed my life in very many ways. So now I'm a, a chair of Governors at a High School, I'm a chair of an arts and mental health charity, uh, I run my own consultancy practice working exclusively with, with charities, uh, I also work very much uh, uh, with, with the arts and with, uh, with artists and I think I kind of designed the way in which I work now to a greater lesser extent as a result of that experience of common purpose it, it kind of opened up and sort of revealed to me something I was looking for which was this opportunity to participate. For me it was a great way to increase my networks, get to know more people, get to understand what was going on and I think that's something that other people who've not had that opportunity yet can absolutely take advantage of and I'd encourage them to do so.